World War II, a bloody, violent time, but the birth of several iconic moments and images. One of the most famous is the V-Day kiss, where a random sailor was photographed kissing a random nurse in Times Square after their victory in Europe. The image was the cover of Life magazine and soon became one of the best known images around, even to this day. One of our very own teachers, Miss Christine Cruz, was lucky to enough, by chance, sit next to the very sailor, Carl Muscarello, on a flight to Georgia over Thanksgiving break. She came back gushing, changed by the simple yet profound experience of a short flight. And so I'm sitting down and I'm turning, turning my phone off, you know, like the airlines ask you to do, and I'm settling into my seat. And, and before I turn it off, he looks at my phone and, and he says, do you have Google on that thing? And I said, yes. And he says, well, do you mind you know, Googling my name so you know who you're sitting next to? Now off the forefront, that was not like a cocky statement. It, was, it came from extreme humility and I said, okay. And so he says, Carl Muscarello, and he spells it for me, C-A-R-L-M-U-S-C-A-R-E-L-L. And I look it up and instantly, like Google images gives you images first and a couple of lines and it was the V-Day kiss, which is that iconic photo of a man, a sailor, grabbing this nurse and giving her the most romantic, passionate kiss in the middle of Times Square. She took a different outlook on the whole experience. Instead of becoming starstruck and boasting about it, she took a life lesson that inspired many of her friends, family, and students. When I got the article and the picture and the envelope, I cried like a nerd um, because it was something so rare but so simple and the fact that like I feel we've missed out on doing simple things for people and we're emotional about these simple things, um, it just it just brought back nostalgia for me. Miss Cruz plans to bring in Mr. Muscarello to speak to her different classes. We tried to get a clip of him on the phone, but unfortunately it went to voicemail. This is Carl Muscarello, also known as the Moose. So we didn't get the clip we were looking for, but the overall feeling of the holiday season has definitely settled in and having an iconic American figure sit next to you and share his story pretty much only adds to it. So hopefully we'll be seeing Mr. Muscarello around these halls very soon. Ashton Harbour, NBC.